Marty was a bit of a hero of mine. I'd seen all his films. Like most people who love cinema, he's iconic. And the nature of the male characters meant that I was sort of slightly, I had a little bit of trepidation because, you know, quite often the characters are very angry and they're abrupt and they thrive on sort of confrontation. I think I had a slight advantage over maybe some British photographers that I was competing against in the sense that my dad was a New Yorker. He'd been in the American Marines. He was a tough guy. His uncle had been a fight promoter in the 30s and had three world champions. So my dad was kind of part of the Scorsese world and it meant that I, I had an insight I, I understood how these macho men interact with each other. I was given 10 minutes with Mr. Scorsese. I sort of went into the mode of talking to him that I'd kind of learnt from being with my dad, sort of being like a character in one of his movies. And he was very apologetic about having given me so little time. Although I only had 10 minutes, I think they were a good productive 10 minutes. I shot a total of 36 frames, one roll of black and white, 12 frames at the beginning, and then 24 frames against the backdrop, and then he was gone. I used my Hasselblad camera, my medium format camera, and the two rolls of colour, I cross-processed them to sort of give them a bit of punch, which is what you used to do back then. You take uh, a transparency film, and you'd put it through a negative process, a C41 process, and you'd end up with these really contrasty negatives. The eyebrows were quite extraordinary. And so, sort of slightly panicked by the situation, I was a bit cheeky and I said, how about give me a wink? And he gave me this wink and it all came together. It's the most cliched, obvious thing to do in a photograph, get someone to wink, but he's probably the ultimate person to get to wink because it sort of meant that his eye that was winking suddenly just looked like a big furry caterpillar. The wink image has been syndicated widely. It's probably been all over the world, especially at the time. It probably appeared in lots and lots of different magazines. And it's probably, to be honest, earned me thousands of pounds. And that's the main takeaway from this shoot. It isn't the most incredible insight into Martin Scorsese, but the point I'd like to make is that it's absolutely crucial to any young photographer to retain the copyright in their work. The intellectual property is a really, really valuable thing. Don't sign it away. I've only ever done it once with Kylie Minogue and I still regret it to this day. It's a very personal thing, a photograph, and I think it's right that the creator should own it, even if it's a picture of someone very, very famous. To illustrate the point, uh, I was recently contacted by a museum in Amsterdam that were doing an exhibition all about Martin Scorsese. And they got in contact with my agency, Getty, who syndicate my pictures, and they asked if they could use this picture of Martin Scorsese with the wink. So 20 years later, it's still providing me with revenue. And they even sent me a t-shirt.